It's a me. <laughs> it's a me, Mario. <laughs> get over here. Get over here. I want. I want to ask you something. I want to get over here. Just get over here for one second. <clears throat> Can you go to the fridge? Can you get old Mario a uh, ice cold Dr Pepper? Can you get uh, old Mario a uh, ice cold Dr Pepper for the fridge? Now I don't want you to get a can. I want you to get a glass bottle. Glass bottle, baby. That's got the real sugar in it. The real sugar, none of that corn syrup crap. I want the real stuff. Get me an ice cold Dr Pepper. It's gotta be ice cold. If I get that Dr Pepper and it's anything less than ice cold, I'm gonna spit it out. I gotta spit it out. Give me an ice cold Dr Pepper. All right, all right. You go on now. You go. <laughs> you go on now. Give me a my Dr Pepper. <clears throat> Hello. Welcome to the video game valley. It's a beautiful day today. A perfect seventy-two degrees out. We're continuing New Super Mario Brothers Wii on the Wii. New Super Mario Bros Wii on the Wii. I appreciate that on this screen right here in front of you, the word we is there three times. <laughs> At least I think it's just three. Is there any other, uh, no, that's the only, uh, the only, oh, wait, no, four, no, okay. Sorry. <laughs> I was looking at the cover. My cover actually has the word we on it twice. But this cover that I used for, uh, for this art does not. We could have had we four times <laughs> on this screen. The console itself, uh, yeah, I guess it is technically on the console and the remote. Y you can't really see it, so I guess that is five times. Sure, I'll take it. Five Wii's. How's everyone doing today? Hope you're doing okay. Hope things are going well for you. I, uh... Got a gray, green tea with me, with Jasmine. Green tea with Jasmine. Green tea, Jasmine. Ah. Delightful. Where's my, uh, one sec. <clears throat> Where is it? Where in the heck? Where are you? Aha! Sorry, I had set my phone down. I had set my phone down and forgot where I put it, but I, f I found it. We're good to go. <laughs> We're good to go to play some Mario. Trying to make real pizza crust out of a beer bread recipe. Oh. Let me know how that goes. I hope it goes well for you. Sounds pretty good. New Super Mario Brothers! Whee! Whee! Cursed Galatea, thank you for the two Canadian. We're the Mario Brothers. We're the Mario Brothers, and we're... What's the rest of the song? <laughs> The Koopas and the Troopas. I can't remember. That's fine. Did a bunch of recording today. Did a bunch of recording. I got a promotional video for the Llamas with Hats epilogue Kickstarter coming out tomorrow. People are going to love it. People are going to love the promotional video. Here we go! <laughs> promotional video. Uh-oh, a toad. I've got a, I got a save toad. Toad has been toad napped. Oh yeah, I forgot. Oh, yeah, I got it. 
I gotta spin the remote. Godzilla minus one, so can you recommend? No, I haven't seen a movie in the theater in a long time. I'll see it when it's uh, available on home video. I've heard it's good. I think possibly my only, uh, problem with the movie, having not seen it. <laughs> having only seen images from the film. I do wish that, uh, that they kept making Godzilla films with the rubber costumes. <laughs> I, <laughs> I realize that the vibe they're going for maybe wouldn't be, uh, wouldn't be helped by the rubber outfit, but... I still think they should do it. This is simply my opinion. Oh no. <laughs> Goodbye, Toad. I feel like the, uh... Is this... Right. I guess this is not the toad that was lost. I guess I just need to complete the level now. The only time I've ever seen a, uh... A, uh, Godzilla... That wasn't a rubber costume that I thought... And then I thought, all right, I can see why they did it this way, and I think it works. One spin. Uh, I, I did. It didn't pick up Toad. I mean, it was a smaller Toad. I don't know if that matters. <laughs> but Toad did not get picked. But yeah, the only the only Godzilla I've ever I've ever seen that was CG that I thought, you know what? I think this works as CG in this one instance. It was Shin Godzilla. I think Shin Godzilla. Shin Godzilla as CG was fine. Well, Toad is lost. These things happen. Overall, I agree with the sentiment, but your point about the vibes not fitting is very true in the hypothetical. Uh, there are, uh, having now seen so many Godzilla films, I will say that there are a number of Godzilla movies specifically about uh, war trauma that do a very good job <laughs> with the rubber suit <laughs> of making rubber suit Godzilla fit with that sort of vibe. Like, I understand it's, uh, it's complicated to film a movie like that, <laughs> if, if you're used to, uh, 
you know, CGing everything. Most of the people who had those skill sets are out of the industry at this point. No! Now I've lost both hats. <laughs> Dang it, I've lost everything. I'm just playing this kind of lackadaisically. Oh, oh, oh. This is a hold. <laughs> I, did, I actually didn't realize that was a hole down there. That's fine. What? Toad? Oh, Toad's uh, captured again. All right, I'll get you this time. Don't worry. When I play Mario, I try to get all the coins on the coin maniac. Yeah, I usually 100% these games. Oh, no. <laughs> I just don't particularly like the new Super Mario series. With uh, one exception, I liked... I think this is one that... Uh, if people don't necessarily consider a height of the series, but I liked the 3DS one. Mario just feels... Slightly wrong in these games. Just kind of ruins it for me. He's slightly wrong. Yeah. Shadows. He's just got too many shadows. <laughs> really like to see Robert Benford presents Godzilla. Do you mean Robert Benford making a Godzilla film or Robert Benford hosting a sort of Elvira movie night <laughs> kind of thing? <laughs> I didn't fully understand what it was about the new Super Mario series that didn't click with me until I watched a, uh, it was a, uh, Video Digital Foundry made when New Super Mario, or not New Super Mario, when Mario Brothers Wonder came out. Comparing Wonder to these games. I was like, oh, yeah, I understand. <laughs> Because I love Wonder. Wonder absolutely did it for me. I'm 100% of that game. Got everything in Wonder. I think Raymond Origins is out at the same time. It's a much better game. Oh, yeah, those. the. The two Rayman games that came out with that uh, beautiful art style. Definitely, definitely the superior games of the platformers of the time. Hey, I got, I, I finally saved Toad. Haven't 
played Wonder, but I've only heard praise. Yeah, it's extremely good. Very, very good game. Well, that just happened. Except for that. <laughs> Ex uh, if you play Super Mario Wonder, I highly recommend changing the language of the flowers so you can't understand what they're saying. <laughs> uh, that would be that would be my recommendation. Wait, why? Uh, I guess it depends on how much you like the Big Bang Theory. If you think the Big Bang Theory is, uh, one of the funniest shows on television, <laughs> then maybe keep the flowers, uh, the flowers on. If you can't get enough of, like, you know, you, you know the way that people make fun of, like, Joss Whedon dialogue. It's always a little bit worse than Joss Whedon's dialogue actually is. <laughs> you know, Joss Whedon uh, wrote plenty of good dialogue. It just, there was a sort of jokey uh, vibe to it that people, uh, retired of, but, uh, but you know the way that people make fun of his dialogue. What if you decided to intentionally write like that? <laughs> what if you littered your platformer with characters who constantly spoke <laughs> as if they were Joss Whedon dialogue parodies? stand out so much more to me that it actually started distracting me. One of the flowers outright says, well, that just happened. <laughs> yeah, they do. <laughs> and it sucks because, like, so much of the... so much of the, like, strange things that happen in that game are genuinely, like, uh, charming and magical. And so to have them, like, punctuated with the, well, that just happened sort of thing, where it's like, you can't just let, you can't just let wonder happen. <laughs> you have to have, like, an ironic detachment from it. You have to make sure people know that you know that what just happened is weird. The weird thing is, as far as I can tell, <clears throat> as far as I can tell, it that's not actually really a problem with the Japanese, uh, like, original. Because uh, I, I did put it, uh, I put it into Japanese. And let me tell you, the as far as I can tell, the, the lines in Japanese are absolutely not, <laughs> they're not like that. <laughs> This is a localization problem. <clears throat> Whoever did the localizing really, uh, Whedonified the whole thing.
I'm just missing all the coins. I guess I'm just missing them. Would have been the best. What would have been the best, funniest direction to take the uh, flower dialogue? That's a good question. I think honestly, the uh, the way that the uh, the Japanese original seems to have been written seems like it would have been fine. It, much it, the the lines were shorter. They seem to like punctuate rather than interfere. So I think keeping the uh, like the original uh, type of uh, uh, dialogue that the Japanese g game seemed to have, or <clears throat> and just make the lines extremely long. <laughs> like why not? Pray tell Mario, what is it that has just happened here, please? I'm not able to travel myself. I see so few wondrous things. Mario, I need to know. <laughs> what was it that has happened? For this has changed my view of the world. Things that I thought were impossible have now happened before my very eyes. Mario. I need an explanation, Mario. Please. <laughs> Do this for me, Mario. Don't leave. Don't go, Mario. Steam chicken, thank you for the two dollars. Oh. New uh, Super Amiibo Bros Wii. New Super Amiibo Bros Wii. What is this? Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna give her a thumbs up. I've never seen these. I'm sorry, I've never seen these uh, these thumbs up before in the super chats. I guess that's new. I give a thumbs up to Curse Galatea's one too. Oh no, I can't. Oh dang it. No, no, wait, wait. There we go. Personal growth. No, <laughs> oh, I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. I'm just kind of, just kind of chilling, just kind of hanging out. Oh, it's a hoop. I did it. I'm gonna try it out there. I'm apparently not going to, so. It's fine. I don't need every secret. Well, when, I mean, when Nintendo's been doing new stuff, it's usually been through old franchises. 
like uh, Mario Galaxy is pretty radically different from other Mario games. It's essentially a new platformer. Just with Mario. <laughs> and they, they've been experimenting with Mario stuff. I feel like the... Uh, Mario time! The recent 3D Mario game with uh, with the giant Kaiju Bowser had some interesting stuff in it con conceptually. Mario Wonder was uh, a pretty uh, a pretty inventive 2D game. Let's go. I feel like they genuinely revolutionized. Uh, online arena shooter with Splatoon. <laughs> there's, at this point, there's a, a handful of copycats. It's because of the, uh, the success that Nintendo had. Oh, it's Yoshi! get hit by that stuff. No, thank you. Nope. I think maybe I don't want firepower. Oh, it's another egg. Ate the whole thing from the butt. There we go. Goodbye, Yoshi. Steam Chicken, thank you for the two dollars. Don't forget revolutionizing collectibles with Amiibo. <clears throat> How could I forget Amiibo? You're right. Here's a rare item. I'm sure it'll come in handy. What? Press one on the map to access your items. Don't be afraid to use items to clear a tough course. You got it. Oh, I made it. Need a dislike button on Super Chats. <clears throat> they need to bring the dislike button back for Super Chats. something. Sure, I'll take fire. Why not? Oh, 
I went the wrong way. Alright, I'll try the middle way. Dang it. Alright, it's gonna be at the bottom. Wub wow. Get the heck out of here. It's okay, don't worry about it. This is definitely the wrong way. Apparently Sony PlayStation. Sony... The Sony PlayStation Corporation. Is planning on releasing a uh, PlayStation 5 Pro. They're going to be doing a more powerful PlayStation 5. I think game companies should release less powerful versions of their consoles. <laughs> Sounds like I'm doing a bit. <laughs> but really, <clears throat> how much is the PS5? It's like $500 or something. <laughs> I think they should release, they should have a console that's $150. <laughs> Why, we don't... <clears throat> I think it would be actually good for the industry <laughs> if game consoles themselves were also less powerful. You know, you have less that you need to spend on the graphical fidelity. Oh yeah, put out, put out a, a cheaper PS5. Oh, you got me. Yeah, that's too bad. All right, you scamp. All right, go back up into the pipes. <laughs> Got him. It's a good voice actor. Whoever that was, you did a good job. Series S is just that. Yeah, I think that was a good decision on Xbox's part. I think they should go further, though. <laughs> like, they've said that they're not going to release a more powerful powerful Xbox, and I, I agree with them. They should not. I think they should release a less powerful. How about the Xbox L? <laughs> the Xbox C. They're for cheap. Even less powerful Xbox. They <laughs> might never release a new console. It's possible. I think that I think what? I think we'll get at least one more from them. What? I know there was all that uh, that news stuff about 
them getting out of the console business, but their actual announcements about which games were coming out on PlayStation platform ended up kind of being mostly nothing. Consoles have always been a luxury item to some degree. Uh, true. Although, the consoles that have done the best have never been the the priciest ones. Like, it's always... <laughs> it's generally been, like, the uh, the, the cheaper console that's, that's done better. Like, there's, there's consoles that came out that were, like, $179. Old gangbusters. Three DO wasn't exactly flying off the shelves. No. Hey, I'm a penguin. successful the DS Lite was. Yeah, the DS Lite, the original Game Boy, it's just, a, it was a good price, even though the console itself was extremely underpowered. But it had tons of great games, so it, did, it doesn't matter. <laughs> like, there are absolutely experiences that, you know, There are definitely experiences that you need uh, more powerful consoles to uh, create. But... <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> but there are so many great, wonderful games. Possible and uh, less powerful hardware. There's penguins all over Oh, I'm a penguin again. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Son of a gun. <laughs> I, I shouldn't have stopped moving. That was my mistake. Steam Deck is probably the most powerful computer in my house that costs less than any of them. Yeah, the Steam Deck is pretty... Pretty good. I had a lot of trouble with the... Uh, with the setup of the Steam Deck. <laughs> Stuff that I feel like they could possibly do better with, but as a... as a... Uh, as a handheld computer console, it's, it's pretty extraordinary. No! My penguin power! Oh, no. Oh. 
I'll, I'll leave the coin. That's fine. They didn't like the Steam Decks because they run emulators and pirated software. Uh, I mean, that's a good use of the Steam Deck, sure, but... I like it because I can play Steam Library stuff on my TV. <laughs> it's just... I just, uh... I don't really play a lot of stuff on the computer. And most of the, like, Steam library stuff that I want to play is... It's like adventure games. It's... Like, I don't want to play Cyberpunk on the Steam Deck, things like that. I think you can, but I, I don't know if that's necessarily an optimal experience for a game like that. But yeah, I played uh, Inherit the Earth Quest for the Orb <laughs> on the Steam Deck. I don't think online features have worked on Wii stuff in a while. I don't, I don't know, is there any Wii stuff that had private servers that still didn't even work? I think the Maiden of Raven Lake would run on a Steam Deck. Uh, I'm gonna, uh, I'm, I'm currently working on, uh, a playable version of the Maiden of Raven Lake. I'm converting the virus <laughs> to a playable version. And, uh, it is a goal of mine to have it Steam Deck compatible. I tried playing, um, yeah, what the heck is it called? Uh, Play the Princess on the Steam Deck, which it, it listed as compatible, and I had a lot of trouble. <laughs> there was a, there was a lot of trouble. Oh, I got. All right, we're fine. <laughs> There'd be less trouble for Maiden of Raven Lake. Yeah. Dang it. Oh no! I got shot. You know what? Okay. Who cares? I keep trying for coins, even though I've specifically decided I'm not doing coins. Grab G Proton. Yeah. Makes it easier to play a lot of games on Steam Deck. I don't know what that is, so no, I guess not. said it wasn't compatible. Weird to play without a mouse, and then they just auto-said it was compatible since you can technically play it. 
Yeah, they have the two different uh, categories. They have the, the great on Steam Deck, where it's just like fully compatible, and then they've got the yellow one, where it's like it works, but you'll have some problems. <laughs> Got a one up. Oh no, Mario, no. Oh. oh, this is not okay. I can I can go in the water, it's fine. Pro. Is there a is there a real price for that? I hadn't. <laughs> Are they? Is that real or is that like a rumor? Of now. Yeah, sometimes when prices like that start floating around, it's... Sometimes companies will uh, leak stuff like that into the news to see what the response is. <laughs> well, you think people will pay $800? You play a Steam Deck with an external controller? Oh, I play it with an Xbox controller. Like, there's a, cu a couple of controller functionalities that won't work if you if you do that but yeah I use I use an Xbox controller I had originally used a uh, PlayStation 4 controller just because uh, that has a couple of extra functionalities just because of the, the touchpad but I found weird compatibility issues where it's just a couple of games I tried just didn't work right so I, I just use the Xbox controller. Yabba dabba dooba dee da 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 doop. all of Charlie the Unicorn. Congratulations. I hope you enjoyed the Charlie the Unicorn series. you liked it. I'm glad you liked Charlie the Unicorn. Uh, run, Mario. Run. Now watch all of the Shadowstone Park. Yeah, you might like Shadowstone Park if you like Charlie the Unicorn. Almost with hats, it's such a sad ending. Well, there's uh, an epilogue in the works. I'm, I'm running a Kickstarter right now for that, and it's it's been funded. The Kickstarter's still going for the next 20 days. <clears throat> but yeah, there's an epilogue coming. 
More llamas with hats. There's a chance to win some one-ups. Go through the door to play, I will. Thank you. One-up blast. Hop in a cannon. You only get one shot. Tilt to aim, fire with two. All right. I'll hop in a cannon. This, I guess any of them really will do. Oh, I see. I'm sorry, I, I f didn't realize what the strategy was until it was too late. <laughs> I could have gotten way more one-ups. <laughs> okay, all right. Let's go into this ghost house. No, no, that was a fake door. This one was also a fake door, son of a gun. But where in the heck is the real one? Oh no! no really, where in the heck is this door? Try down here. No. <laughs> okay. What am I missing exactly? I think we, uh, no, no birthdays today. All right. Is there a secret door? I guess that doesn't actually help me move on. This does, though. <laughs> Very sneaky. Ghosts. Come on, what's the what's the big idea? I, don't know. I need to get you down. I need to get you down here. What's the big idea? I'm asking. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Oh no. Don't look at me. That's a fake door. 
This is a real door. Yeah, coming to get me. No, 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 indeed. Okay. <laughs> Let's -a go. Mario's it, it's Mario time. It's time for Mario. Let's, go. Let's see what my mushroom friend has to offer this time. <clears throat> feeling lucky, step right through the door to win some items. I am I feeling lucky? I don't know, I don't know if I am. Power-up panels. Alright, this one, this one, okay. Uh, let's, let's see. Okay. That's cute. Nothing yet. Oh no! Oh god! Alright, we got one. Mm. Oh, dang it! Pretty bad luck. <laughs> Pretty bad luck, baby. Yeah, I want to fight you. Oh, no. I'm coming back. That's my, uh, yeah, I'm just, uh, that'll, that'll be good. I'm coming for you. Mushrooms. <laughs> Mario 3 is such a fantastic game, absolutely. One of my favorite games of all time, Mario 3. I meant to do this, this is intentional. This is uh, a strategy known as the donk up strategy. You donk up. You donk something up. But it's intentional, you know, it's... It's for style. How <clears throat> oh, the Carl can move in strange and mysterious ways. Carl star in a platforming game. Well, I don't think platforming is necessarily strange and mysterious, but... And Carl was in a game, uh, called Mama uh, Satat's Cruise Catastrophe, where he just kicks people off a cruise ship. <laughs> it wasn't a very good game. <laughs> but it was cheap. Why 
Why would this exist? was a bit much. Marshmallow people game. Oh. Was there a, was a fan game? I try to remember. I think... <clears throat> God, you know what? This it brings a memory to mind. I think there was a Marshmallow people game that was actually officially officially licensed by Microsoft. <laughs> by the ad company uh, working for Microsoft at the time to advertise the Microsoft Edge browser contacted me about getting the rights to do a Marshmallow People video game that was played in browser to show off the browser capabilities of the Microsoft Edge browser. <laughs> I completely forgot that this existed. <laughs> yeah, that was a thing. That I don't know if that's the one you played. Yeah, might have, that might have been the one. I don't even know if I ever played it myself. I seem to remember they paid me pretty well for that. Here played <laughs> the uh, the audio game card game. <laughs> it's also a thing that I <clears throat> forget is out there right now. There's a game you can buy it at Target or Walmart. It's called the Audio Game. It's uh, the gimmick is that <clears throat> the cards have like a QR code on them, and you download an app and you play sound. Of, you play sounds from online videos uh, and they they licensed Charlie the Unicorn for that the audio game ah! favorite party game, Jason. I love the audio game. You should, I get a certain amount every time someone buys one, apparently. 
I won't actually know if I'm making any kind of money off of this until next February. <laughs> oh, Toad, no! Yeah, I'll save. Why not? Get an entire group of people together to compare and guess sound effects. If only that was what the audio game is about. <laughs> no, it's all like just uh, clips from online videos and stuff. And... I had planned on doing like a... Uh... Like a thing when it came out to, uh, to advertise it more. But I looked into the other uh, people they had on the in the in the card game for some of the clips, and uh, I was not particularly thrilled with some of the company <laughs> that I was sharing in this game. So I was like, eh. Oh no. No, Toad, no! Alright, whatever. What? Whatever, Toad. Oh, is Toad still in there? Okay, I'll, I'll go. I'll get, get Toad. You let Toad die? I did. a big hit. The audio game. People... People love the audio game. Oh no. Alright, well Toad's alright. <laughs> Toad's okay. No, Toad! Oh, God. Alright, Toad is dead. Toad has died. I'm exiting the course again. <laughs> Toad has... Oh, no, no. Come on. Yes, I do. I do want to. You love killing the ones in Dark Souls, don't you? I love the toads in. Oh my god. I love the toads in Dark Souls, yes. Oh god. I don't know why I'm doing so well. I mean, so poorly. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing so poorly. With this little toad. And I gotta really, uh. I gotta really put it, pull it together. We've gotta save Toad. Let's a go. Haven't watched the live stream in years, but hi, hello. Welcome back. I hope your life is going all right. Hope things are going well for you. I wish nothing but the best for you in this world. <laughs> Where's Toad? Toad's just not here. What? Yeah, Toad's, uh, Toad died too many times. Oh no. Oh god! Yeah, I should really have a... Uh... Mushroom or something. <laughs> you know what? 
I'm sorry, Toad. Sorry, I want to move on. <laughs> Goodbye, Toad. <laughs> Farewell, Toad. Oh, it's mush time. Yes, yes. Mush. It's mush. Oh no. It's mush time. It's mush. It's time for mush. And that's how I became Super Mario Brothers. And that's how I turned into the Super Mario Brothers. And that's how I became Mario Super. That's how the Super Mario Brothers became me. And that's how I'm Super Mario. And that's when I learned I'm Super Mario Brothers. That's all, folks. I'm Super Mario signing off. We're going to war. It's all over. Good night and good luck. I'm Super Mario Brothers. Hey, hey, cut it out. <laughs> cut it out, please. I'm getting hit by a fireball over and over again. All right, I'm, I'm getting ready. I'm, I wasn't gonna do it, but I'm gonna. Oh no, you killed me. <laughs> And that's how I became the Super Mario Brothers. My adventure's just beginning. Stay tuned next week. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, I'm having such, such trouble on this stage. I guess because my heart's not in it. <laughs> It's... <laughs> I... I'm a lifelong uh, lover of uh, Super Mario Brothers. We kiss. I love... Uh, uh, I love his funny little nose. His funny big nose, sorry. And his squeaky voice. I love Mario. I've played so many Mario games. They were some of the first games I ever played on that. Nintendo Entertainment System. There's something about the new Super Mario games. I just do. <laughs> just as I'm playing them, I, I get uh, just aggressively angry. And I just don't. I, I don't end up doing well. It's like that, uh... Oh. You know how people can, can end up with a, a brain thing where... 
they think that somebody that they know has been replaced with a body double. Uh, I just kind of end up with that feeling as I'm playing New Super Mario Bros. I feel like this is <laughs> Mario has been replaced. This is not correct. Something is wrong here. This is not Mario. This is not my Mario. Not fooling me. Oh, no, he's back. Oh God, that's okay. This is probably a mushroom. No. <laughs> Dang it. Poor Anne. Thank you for that five dollars. Recently started watching a Hulu original called The Bear. Like a gut punch, belly laugh, and a panic attack all rolled into one. That's the uh, cooking show, right? One of my favorite shows of the last like ten years. I, if if that's the one. Oh no, those coins, all those coins. <laughs> if that's the one I'm thinking of, then yeah, uh, that, that's. Uh, highly recommend The Bear. Still need to watch that. I think you'd like it. Scuffy yeah. wouldn't. Bear gave me anxiety on account of all my years in the kitchen. Oh, I bet, I bet. Coins, thank you. Oh no, Mario. <laughs> no, Mario. Oh. Oh. Funny man, thank you for the $4.99. Uh, I hope that hope I hope things go well for you with that uh, problem you're experiencing. <laughs> I think you've maybe slightly miscalculated the vibe of this stream, but I appreciate it. Appreciate the support. <laughs> Larry Love, thank you for the 199. Uh, uh, Mamma Mia, my favorite Chris Krat. Uh, Chris. Chris Krat. <laughs> my favorite Chris Pratt video game. He was so good in New Super Mario Bros. Wii.
Sky 2 Pro will make it before 99. Mario has been Pop Cross Syndrome. That's not Super Mario Brothers, it's a doppelganger, a dreadful fetch of Owl Omen of Impending Doom. Yeah, maybe. Maybe it's just a funny clown in a weird Mario suit. Oh yeah, Mario time. Maybe this Mario's trying to be entertaining. The real Mario couldn't show up. <laughs> this one's trying his best. <laughs> it doesn't have to be ominous. He's just not Mario. Whoa. Okay. Now we got a new course here. It isn't the same. Oh, it's... I see. It's... The course has changed slightly. so much and be so happy if Mario had a clone power up. That would be great. I think they should do that. I mean, they might. That feels kind of like the, oh God, the sort of thing that they would do these days. Watching llamas with hats after watching two hours of annoying orange. Two hours of annoying orange. How did your annoying orange viewing experience go? <laughs> two hours. Doing more llamas with hats. Got a Kickstarter going on right now. It's doing pretty well. I wonder if, uh, uh, you know, I have, I have, uh, I've, I've talked on, on stream before about my personal history with Dane Bo. I wonder if they would. Uh, <laughs> Uh, be up for uh, me writing an annoying orange story. Let's let's actually collaborate for the first time. <laughs> it's uh, the, the past is the past. It's a new era. it about annoying orange that you cried to? <laughs> I'll be... <laughs> I'll be honest, I, uh... What I've seen of annoying orange, I can't imagine it being cry-worthy, but, you know, uh, uh, things change. Yeah, there's still regular annoying oranges, as far as I, as far as I know. Uh, funny man, they could be the 4.99. Oh God. It's okay, Daniel. I don't need the cream medicine anymore. Congratulations. Please and continue enjoying Mario. Thank you. I will. Marshmallow and comes out as non-binary. It's beautiful. 
I'm glad to hear there's uh, compelling stuff in modern annoying orange. Glad to hear it, genuinely. I don't know what I needed to do here. That's Here right. Feeling lucky still? Okay, I, I am feeling lucky. It was years ago. Dane emailed me about, um... Uh, doing, like, a collaboration. Knowing Orange and Charlie the Unicorn. I didn't want to. <laughs> but, uh... Dane Bo ended up, uh... Doing it anyway, and... Which is, like, you know, doing a... Parody video or whatever. No, I, I, I have Sonic the Hedgehog and some, some live videos. It's fine. But Debo did uh, just straight up rip my artwork. <laughs> it felt weird after asking if I wanted a collab and I didn't want a collab to then do it anyway and specifically yoink my artwork. <laughs> And then I, uh, I emailed, emailed, emailed them about it, and uh, denied having done that. But like, <clears throat> <laughs> I mean, it is, it is my artwork. I know you can overlay them on top of each other. This was a long time ago, though. I've certainly grown a lot as a person since then, I imagine. I don't know. Okay. Aimbo is probably a whole different person at this point. Dainbo came out as a uh, non-binary. Smosh is back. Isn't Smosh back? <laughs> I seem to remember Smosh being back. what I have to do to, uh, 
finish this level. Oh, you know what? I think I know. I think there was a, uh... Isn't there a, a certain pipe I had to go into that I couldn't get into before? Anyone else aware of what Danebo did with your heart? No, I mean, it's not... <laughs> this is not something I want to do or make drama about. <laughs> this is like... This would have been like, uh, 2000... 2010, something like that. <laughs> I mean, I was pretty annoyed about it at the time, but it's, it's so long ago. I I didn't want to do the collaboration specifically because it. This was a period of YouTube where uh, uh, there was a lot of cynical ways that people. No, no. That was the right ending. Oh, it's, a goal. it's hard to remember this era of YouTube, but collaboration was a uh, uh, like an extremely big part of uh, channel growth at the time. There was a lot of uh, big channels that were collaborating with each other. I mean, people still collaborate. It's still a pretty frequent thing, but this was like a... Uh, a big starting point for, for that. As a regular practice. And when uh, uh, Danebo reached out, I looked at the other uh, collaborations and stuff that they had done. And it didn't really feel like they were collaborations. It felt like just kind of taking whatever happened to be popular at the time and shoving it in an annoying orange episode. Which is fine. <laughs> I was like, I don't... This didn't really interest me personally. Hey, I did it. Time for the uh, annoying orange Funkow collaboration to really happen. <laughs> the, the era has arrived. <laughs> I mean, I believe you. I was... <laughs> there's, there's something about Annoying Orange and the way that, like, the series, uh, uh, uh... The series took shape that reminded me a lot of, like, Jim Davis. <laughs> and, Gar and Garfield. <laughs> so, I... I haven't really uh, given much thought to the the artistry of the annoying orange, but uh, vomit. You're maybe the one person in the entire world who could convince me to 
give more consideration to the <laughs> annoying orange <laughs> and Dane Bo's work in general. Oh no! Yeah, I probably need to blow one of these up. Probably what I gotta do. I mean, probably. <laughs> like, don't get me wrong, it was a, a deeply weird thing to have happened to me, but... <laughs> it's, uh... It was a long time ago. I think, you know, there's bad stuff I've done in my life. Uh, you're liking someone's art for a day. Collab uh, video or whatever. It's not really high on that kind of list. All about your devious hackings. Yeah, all my devious hackings. the wrong button. Faced any consequences for this? Uh, I'm not really sure what consequences. <laughs> like speaking honestly, uh, I, I mean they have suffered consequences. The consequences of uh, of doing something like that is just that they uh, it took someone who could have been a friend and turned them into an enemy. That's <laughs> that's a consequence. I don't think that they served any consequences outside of that. <laughs> you know, it's, it's YouTube stuff. Yeah! <laughs> 
Gotcha. Oh, no. <laughs> Dang, I fell into a hole. tell you though there is another youtuber out there it's not not Jane though there's a, another youtuber out there who uh I have oh god much greater beef with <laughs> Uh, but secretly, <clears throat> just st stuff that I, I just don't talk about. Considerably worse stuff. <laughs> and every once in a while, people bring up this uh, YouTuber in chat <laughs> and ask me a question about them. I just I never answer. Secretly inside of my head, inside of my head. Uh, that person. Uh. Robert, creator of Clay World. It's, it's Robert Ben, <laughs> creator of Clay World, star of the table. <laughs> it's Rebecca Black. Rebecca Black stabbed me in a dark alley. I would hate to have painful history with Rebecca Black. <laughs> oh, Rebecca Black. It's my goal to maintain positive relations with Rebecca Black. How's her... Uh... Rebecca Black's music career going. I know, I know she came back and was doing stuff again. I think the new stuff was pretty good, right? The ball keeps getting bigger. That's impressive. This is powerful wizardry you've got here. Oh no. That's a okay. Their collab with Dorian Electra. Oh, I was Rebecca Black, non-binary. Apologies by the misgendering. Rebecca Black. I love Dorian Electra, so I'll, I'll... oh, I don't know. Okay, I I wasn't sure if <laughs> I just haven't looked up Rebecca Black in a while. Yeah, 
I will say. What? I met Rebecca Black uh, very briefly at Playlist Live in like 2010 or 11. Seemed uh, pretty depressed at the time, honestly. <laughs> I don't, I don't always go out, but uh, hope, hope she's doing better. project. Uh, I think at this point, the film cow stuff is sufficiently small fry enough not to really, like, I don't, I don't think I'm big enough to attract Rebecca Black <laughs> to a project. <laughs> it's, it's a pretty small channel at this point. I mean, you know, we've had our hits, but... Like, I, I genuinely think the stuff that I'm doing now is some of the best work I've ever done, but it's not, it's, it, our views are pretty low. Uh, funny man, thank you for the 499. Annoying Orange, Clockwork Orange parody, LA Joke. It's insane and mentally exhausting to watch, it gets a billion views. Clockwork Orange parody. I feel like the annoying Clockwork Orange is maybe not actually a great idea. <laughs> it's, a, it's a funny title. Mm. Do you prefer being small? No, it's much easier to live and make money when you're not. <laughs> The Patreon's doing reasonably well, which is the only thing keeping the channel going. Because YouTube revenue certainly doesn't anymore. Like, don't get me wrong, I want to be independent, but... Would like to be independent and also have a big enough audience to... to not have to worry about money so much. The Kickstarter is going to help, but, you know, a lot of that goes back into the rewards in the project. right there. I should, uh, I should reach out to Dane Bow and pitch a, uh, the table style audio drama <laughs> about the annoying horn. <laughs> this will be a... This will, this will be the, uh, the conclusion of our... history. Let's a go. Chance to win some one-ups. Go through the door to play. All right. Table 
was so good and really enjoyed it. I'm glad you like the table. I've got to... Uh... I've got another audio play in the works. Oh my god, I missed everything. I guess we're at the end here. What? Well, I guess we're done. That's it. Special thanks to the FilmCal Patreon supporters. Greatly appreciate the support. Genuinely, truly <laughs> keeps the channel going. I'll be back tomorrow. Uh, we're con continuing Animal Crossing on the GameCube. Scuffy will be here for that one, of course. Also, uh, uh, Vomit, I'll, I'll check out the, uh, the Smosh interview. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm ready to, uh, to come around on on Danebow. <laughs> the, t the time for healing has has arrived. <laughs> Gremlin, thank you for the two dollars. Thanks for a hopping good time. Appreciate it, Gremlin. It was a hopping uh, good time for all I guess I'm done. I guess that's it. Yeah. Get to head off. Got a, uh, got the promo video coming out tomorrow. I'm wearing a llama outfit in it. I'm wearing... <laughs> I'm wearing a llama uh, Kigurumi So I'll look forward to that <laughs> Look forward to that. Is it comfy? Uh, I've seen comfier. It it's it was a good fit for what I needed it for. It's kind of I I got it for the the look. It looks it looks beautiful. It kind of looks a little bit like I'm wearing a, 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 a cute dead llama on me. <laughs> Not in that it looks realistic in any way. It just has these, like, kind of... It just has this look about it. It's, it's a, a strange outfit. Comes with a hat, right? It didn't come with a hat, but I put, I put a hat on it. I put a hat on it. I 
I put a hat. Here, I'll give you a... I'll give you a, a sneak, a sneak peek. Get ready, you're gonna see, you're the first people to see... See the outfit with the hat. <clears throat> here, here it is, everyone. There it, <laughs> there it is. There's me in the yeah, Kigurumi. <laughs> it's a good, it's a good look. <laughs> llama reveal llama reveal that does have a certain lifelessness <laughs> it does I think it's just that I think part of it is the fact that the eyes look kind of depressed which I mean it usually it's not necessarily it's just, I don't know. There's something to it. <laughs> There's something. There's something to it. Does have that taxidermied plush animal vibe. <laughs> mm -hmm. Anyway, the the video itself is very simple. I'm just doing a llamas with hats FAQ. But. I wanted to wear a, a nice outfit for it. Oh, well, I guess that's it. I guess guess I'm done. Thank you all for tuning in. Have a great night, everyone. A great morning, afternoon, evening, whatever it is, wherever you are. Have a good one. Farewell, everyone. I love you all.